Hey, this is Ben, and I'm here to tell you about conditional logic with Process Street. This lets you set rules and conditions in your processes to show variable tasks based on the information you record. For example, let's say you have a hiring process with tasks for different department candidates. So, if you are hiring for marketing, you'd want to review their marketing portfolio, and for development, you'd need to conduct a development interview. After deciding whether to take the candidate further, the checklist would also update to account for that. Choosing to not go forward with the candidate could present one final task for terminating the process, while choosing to continue would bring up your onboarding tasks. No more half-completed checklists and huge task lists that aren't always needed. Everything is precisely what it needs to be. Conditional logic is what makes this possible, so let's get into how to set it up. Conditional logic is set up inside the template editor, so open the template you want to customize and click Edit. Next, click the Conditional Logic button at the top of the screen. From here, you can set up the rules which govern the tasks that are shown or hidden in your checklists. For example, to make this hiring process show the marketing and development tasks for the relevant candidates, we'd first need to hide most of the other tasks. This is to make sure that the checklist only contains what you need to do in your situation. To do that, click the Hide Tasks by Default button and select the ones you want to avoid showing. Selecting a header will hide all tasks in that section to make things a little easier. Now let's build out our specific rules. Clicking Add Rule gives us a new rule to set up. These work by setting conditions to tell Process Street that, if this happens, show or hide this task. So, to make our marketing task show up, I'd use this rule to tell Process Street that, if this form field asking what department we're interviewing for is answered with the marketing option, then show them the Review Marketing Portfolio task. To do the same for Development, I simply add a new rule and say that if the same form field is answered with Development, then show the Conduct Development Interview task. All checklists run from this template will now start with the minimum tasks required to declutter the process. They then adapt to show the relevant tasks as you work through them and fill in information. This is a very basic example of how you can use conditional logic, but with a little creativity, you can make even the most complex processes a cinch to work through. Start using conditional logic and many other powerful features by signing up for Process Street today at process.st.